In this video, we will cover the cobia fish. What is it? What does it eat? What it does when it migrates? And so much more. As well as, can you eat cobia? So stay tuned. So, what is a cobia? The cobia has an elongated, spindle-shaped body and a large, flattened head, reaching a maximum length of 2 meters or 6.5 feet, and a maximum weight of 78 kilograms or 172 pounds. The eyes are narrow, and the lower jaw reaches far beyond the upper jaw. Cobia have small teeth similar to striper. They will usually scale a fish if it is pulled out of its mouth, but can't cleanly cut through flesh. They also have tiny scales. The body of the fish is smooth. With two deeper brown horizontal bands on the flanks, it is dark brown in tone, grading to white on the belly. During spawning, as the background lightens and the fish darkens, the stripes are easily seen. The large pectoral fins of this fish are normally arranged horizontally alongside its body, perhaps helping to imitate the profile of a shark. The first dorsal fin has six to nine short and stout sharp spines that are independent. There is a forked, slightly lunated tail in the mature cobia, which is normally dark brown. The fish lacks a bladder for swimming. The juvenile cobia is patterned with black and white prominent bands, and has a rounded tail. Cobia will feed on blue crabs, stingrays, pinfish, hardhead catfish, and eel. These fish grow rapidly due to their protein-rich diet, often reaching over 40 inches in length in less than two years. The subtropical and tropical Atlantic and Indo-Pacific oceans are inhabited by cobia, and it is especially common in the Caribbean. They're solitary except when they are spawning or scavenging around large rays or sharks. They prefer hanging around buoys, navigational markers, reefs, and wrecks inshore or offshore. Cobia will also be near some form of large structure where baitfish gather. The best and most straightforward way of getting one on your line, is to drop a line next to the markers of your nearby marina. Can you eat cobia? The simple answer is yes. Cobia can be eaten. And it tastes amazing. Cobia can be high in mercury, and should be cleaned and placed on ice as soon as possible to restrict the growth of bacteria after capturing them. If you're aware of these problems, then cobia can and should be eaten. What does cobia taste like? Cobia has a delicate, buttery and ocean-fresh flavor. The soft white flesh has a very mild flavor. And it doesn't taste fishy. Cobia is superior in terms of flavor, texture, and consistency. The oil it contains also makes the flesh moist and succulent, no matter how you cook it. Is cobia high in mercury? Almost half, 14 out of the 30 sampled, of the species average mercury concentrations were above 0.5 parts per item. The species with levels above 0.5 ppm, included cobia. Can you eat cobia raw? Cobia is a fish with a firm flesh that are preferable for sushi, and it can be cooked by just about any method, including grilling on skewers. With a taste that is mild medium and interesting, the flesh is moist. The darker area has a slightly different flavor to the center line, and its texture is a perfect example of gelatinous. The flesh is still pretty firm when baked, perfect for fish soups and stews. This continues to break up as spontaneously as it does into different flakes. For grilling and similar uses, the belly flesh of larger fish is a little fatty. Is cobia healthy? Cobia are a pure and safe source of protein. Quite simply, it's your healthiest choice full of vitamins, minerals, and omega-3 fats. It is a great source of omega-3, and provides the recommended dietary allowance and saturated fat. A serving contains 19 grams of protein, as well as riboflavin and vitamin B6 nutrients. What does the cobia do when in migration? In the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico, cobia migrate seasonally. They travel south and offshore along the Atlantic coast into warmer waters throughout the late fall and winter. During the summer, cobia was found heading to South Florida waters in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico in the winter, likely spending the winter near the Florida Keys. Spawning happens from June to mid-August near the mouth of the bay or just offshore. Cobia spawn more than once during the spawning season. The eggs are released near the surface of the water, and usually hatch within 24 hours of being fertilized. Young cobia rapidly grow during their first two years, and gain white stripes on their side that vanish as they grow. Cobia can live up to 12 years, Cobia and Remora. Are they the same? Cobia behavior, known for its reliable association with manta rays and sharks, often mirrors that of the Remora to which they are related, and share a number of external characteristics, especially coloration. It is typically a 50-50 bet on whether you would get attention from Remoras or Cobias, while throwing baits or lures to dark forms below manta rays. However, Cobia is well known for frequenting structures such as reefs, buoys, and channel markers, unlike Remoras. 
They are known to be particularly fond of offshore oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico, where cobia is also known as ling. If you enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up, ring the bell notification, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.